what is up you all we are back with another terrifying arthur clown video before we get into it definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so today's video is going to be a little different but i seen that you guys said in the comments that you want more terrifying arthur clown videos but today i want to talk about this man and i just want to talk about the character arthur clown man you know and just the movies but to just talk about mainly arthur clown now it's a lot of you know people that are fans of Arthur Clown, but it's also a lot of people that, you know, they dislike him. They don't think he's a real slasher. They think he's too gory and things like that. But I always said this from the moment I first kind of just started really digging deep with Arthur Clown, which is from the first Terrifier. But I did see the ninth circle on All Hallows Eve. But I honestly, at that moment when Mike Janelli was Arthur Clown, I didn't know that that was the same, you know, character because I saw the original Terrifier years, you know, ahead, so I didn't put two and two together, but then I started to think, like, oh, man, this is the guy from, you know, All Hallows Eve and everything. Now, this guy, when I first seen him, it was something about Terrifier. Like, it was just something about Arthur Clown and this Terrifier movie. It was just so rough house and so rough, and, you know, it was different from, you know, your Halloweens, your Screams, and your Nightmare on Elm Streets. Damien let loose. He was showing what he can do, man. Like, the, the from the bones to the flesh and the blood, everything just felt real. It looked real. But I knew that eventually people would gravitate to Arthur Clown off the simple fact we've never seen anything like this before. Yes, it's gory movies out there. Yes, we have things that are brutal that comes from slashers like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Jason Voorhees. But Arthur Clown is a different type of brutal, you know what I'm saying? To the point he's pushing people away where they don't want to see it. They think that Arthur Clown is over the top, which he is. But I think he's just for people that likes Arthur Clown. Like I feel like if you like Arthur Clown, you like Arthur Clown. Sometimes I feel like us Terrifier fans are in our own bubble. And I found that out when I went to my first Terrifier screening, which was Terrifier 2. And everyone was just cheering for certain scenes and... People are asking me where I get my shirt from, and we're talking Arthur Clown and everything. And I just think that it's just, when it comes to Terrifier, bro, people are just not used to that. So now that it's something new, and it's like a shift in horror due to Arthur Clown, you know, Terrifier, indie films, I think that people are starting to adapt now. Now, I told people this, like, once Terrifier 3 comes out, if Terrifier 3 does great, that that will basically make... Arthur Clown a horror icon and I'm still standing on that and some of you guys might disagree in the comments but I 100% feel that Arthur Clown is a horror icon now he's up there with Jason you know Freddy Krueger Ghostface and those guys and Pinhead because I feel like when you sit back and think about it Arthur Clown he's just now getting started these other guys, they have, you know, like multiple movies. And I'm just saying, Arthur Clown in the Terrifier movies, they just previously did something that was very crazy, being that their movie was just number one in America, bro. And they actually did that with it just being, you know, not rated in an indie film. So I feel like when you sit here and think about it, Damien, Fuzz on the Lens, Phil Falcon, Michael Levy, those guys are changing the game for horror, bro. They're going to open the doors for more indie, you know, films and you know that damien actually got offered big offers from companies but he denied it because he rather just stick with the formula he has been working with with arthur clown and terrifier because because that's why people love it because it's so stand out and so different if arthur clown was similar to michael myers or someone like that it wouldn't stand out as much because we've seen it with michael it's the fact that arthur clown is in his own lane he's in his own direction you know what i'm saying now pushing for i see a lot of people in the community that, you know, doesn't give Arthur Clown his flowers as a horror character or David Howard Thornton. Like, at the end of the day, you don't have to like this character, but I feel that, man, give the man his flowers. Give Damien his flowers because when you sit here and think about it, no one right now, as of right now, is doing what Arthur Clown is doing. He's keeping horror alive. I've never seen so many people in the world that so, you know, a, just addicted to a character but like seeing him at conventions with cosplay he's all through spencer spirit of halloween he's in music videos he's like the new freddy krueger bro like how freddy krueger was like that that pulp culture horror icon that's how arthur clown is becoming he's not it's almost like you can't even compare him to michael myers because michael myers is in his own direction he's the i will say this michael myers is the goat that's my favorite slasher of all time i love michael myers but I'm going to say this. 
you know how it's almost like how in sports where you get these new rookie basketball players that become, you know, the face of basketball for a while and then stuff shifts. I think right now it's Arthur Clown's moment. 2024 was the year for Arthur Clown. And I think that that just put him so high on the charts as a horror icon. If he keeps staying consistent how he has been through these films with Damien's writing and just the consistency and the fluidness of Arthur, he's going to do nothing but keep growing, bro. Like, so many collectibles out there, just knowing that they started from square one to now is insane, bro. And Terrifier 4 is going to be great. I talked about that in previous videos where, you know, the storyline could possibly go going back to, you know, the ninth circle and things like that. The way that Terrifier 3 left off. And don't get me started on Lauren Lavera as Sienna. She is a final girl she's one of my favorite final girls top three she's top three final girls for me bro like she is a final girl final girls fight back and sienna fights back bro and that's why i love her she's rough house she's a warrior literally the thing that i love about arthur clown so much and it all started when i seen him it was just the me just being so curious about him you know what i'm saying i'm not too curious about other slashes because i know what they got going but with arthur clown that moment he went in the pizzeria and you know he has the the garbage bag on his back and he's walking and he's looking at at the chicks and everything i think that just knowing like, where is this guy coming from is he human is he supernatural how does he look under this paint you know what's in that bag and we start to see the reveals of those questions later through the franchise where he's pulling shit out the bag you know all these weapons and tools and it's just eerie bro like knowing that he was a clown and i think people out there some people they don't enjoy the terrifier movies because they don't understand a story which i know the the story has layers to it but once you understand that story you will show a different type of love for the terrifier movies because the story that damien's telling is number one different number two it's just so solid bro and it's just so creepy and like i said pushing forward i think the reason arc the clown just gravitated to me so much is just the fact that he has that comedic aspect to him but he's not cheesy you know what i'm saying like i feel like sometimes i will say this bro chucky and freddy krueger they get a little too cheesy you know what i'm saying it's like that thin line where they hop over it a few times and kind of almost make them not feel scary or like you know a slasher i feel like arthur clown it, it fucks you up literally because sometimes you don't know whether to laugh or be scared like for example when he's pouring the salt on Allie and everything and he's just doing all of this you don't know whether the left he's seasoning up a fucking piece of fried chicken or is it like area he's throwing salt on her and fucking bleach you know what i'm saying like that is so crazy just him in the store with the sunflower glasses it's like do you you don't know if that's eerie is it funny i think that's why i like arthur clown because the key word it's unpredictable. Like I said, I feel like when you go into movies seeing Ghostface and Michael and things like that, you know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? With Art the Clown, you never know what you're going to get. For real. You just only thing I can say you really do know what you're going to get. He's going to be brutal to his victims, for sure. I just think you never know, personality-wise. And the fact that it feels like you know, we've heard him talk or something, but we haven't because Art the Clown doesn't talk. But his his personality through his his motions and his hands and face is so strong and prominent. It feels like he's talking, you know, his facial expressions. It's because of that white paint, that base white paint with the black. It's like almost mime. Like, I think that it's just so different. And, and I really do want to say, man, I made this video to just, you know, basically say this and give Arthur Clown his flowers on my end is he is the new face of horror, bro. And that's just me being real and not just saying what people want to hear. Through all the madness, through all the hate, he, he he kicked the door down and made his spot. He made his spot. Like, seriously, like, even I think that the Terrifier movies is starting to be one of the most consistent franchises, bro. Like, if, if you start from the first, the actual film, it is consistent, bro. Because Damien's saying, like, whole time he was human in the first one. Then he shifts over to being a supernatural being. And then, you know, the third one and the fourth. Everything is starting to line up right if you follow the story, man. And I'm, I'm knee deep in the story. If you follow the channel, you know, we've been breaking that down. The possibilities of Terrifier 4 since, you know, Terrifier 3 ended. And like I said, man, I think that people should really take in his character you know and, and i'm not saying that people that already knows their you know mindset like i don't like art that's cool i'm not trying to persuade you to him or nothing but so for someone in the future that comes across this video like man how is he an icon or whatever bro hopefully you give him a chance because like i said man i've never seen anything like this before like the growth 
Maybe I just never seen a slasher grow in front of me because I'm young, guys. I'm not too old. But like I said, Arthur Clown might just be the first slasher I've seen grow that quick in front of my face. Like, he's really the new face of horror, bro. Like, he's keeping things alive on the slasher genre side of things. And I think that when you sit here and think about it, Arthur Clown can only get better. He can only have things added to him. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing too much that you're going to have to do where you're taking things away. And No, you can only add to Arthur Clown. And with his personality, he's going to make it, you know, fluid and great. And that's why I'm so pumped for Terrifier 4 because I feel like now we're really invested in Sienna Shaw and, you know, Jonathan and Arthur Clown and even Gabby. I'm invested in Gabby, the little cousin. I'm invested in Damien's Ryan, bro. I want to see if it plays out the way he thinks it will play out. All types of things, bro. And like I said, man, I'm just so happy for them, man. And Arthur Clown, he is definitely, you know, top. He's my second favorite slasher of all time. He's my second favorite slasher of all time. I feel like Terrifier 2 is the best slasher movie of all time if you want to be honest it's like one of the best and i think that you just got to give those guys their flowers man because once yeah they're breaking records and shit like that like number one movie in, in horror and in america off of basically them just being indie filmmakers and rejecting these big deals and holding their own bro that's huge and i just want to say that man like Yes, in my world, Arthur Clown's the new face of horror. I don't see nobody but Arthur Clown anymore through the stores, entertainment, memes, social media, TikTok. He's everywhere. He's literally everywhere. His face is becoming a staple now, man. And it's scary how quick it's showing. Like, I feel like, okay, all these other slashers, they grew up in different times and, you know, decades and things like that. Arthur Clown is growing in a in a decade of, you know, something that's so crazy. And 2024 was his year. And I think it's a scary time to see a slasher grow in the life we live in now. Because with how social media is set up, they can grow so fast. Depending on they hit that right, you know, algorithm and traction. And I think Damien and the Terrifier family hit that, bro. And, it, and it's starting to get scary, man. He's starting to grow just unbelievably man and i just want to ask you guys this one question before we end this video do you guys believe that arthur clown is the new face of horror comment down below in the comments i want to see what you guys say seriously i'm gonna be looking out for those comments unfortunately this is the end of the video i want y'all to hit me up on all my social medias at i like scary on every platform and i will see y'all in the next one peace